in the early hours of April the 15th, 1912, as it became apparent just how severe the catastrophe was, Wallace Hartley led his orchestra to try to calm the passengers by playing hymns, including Near My God to Thee. Minutes later, the entire band was washed away by a sudden wave as the Titanic made its last plunge. A newspaper reported, the part played by the orchestra on board the Titanic in her last dreadful moments will rank among the noblest in the annals of heroism at sea. A month later, his body recovered. Wallace Hartley was laid to rest in what one newspaper called pageantry beyond belief. Our hymn of the day is Nearer My God to Thee, words by Sarah Flower Adams, music by Lowell Mason. In 1805, the English poet and Unitarian hymn writer Sarah Adams was born at Ode Harlow, an ancient town in Essex known to have been established prior to the Doomsday Book of 1086. Her father was jailed in Newgate Prison for publishing radical liberal views. Her mother died when she was only five years old. After her father's death, she and her sister became members of the household of the radical preacher William Johnson Fox whom she had met through a feminist friend. Baptized in September 1806 at the Water Lane Independent Chapel in Bishop Stafford, in 1834, she married the liberal polemicist William Bridges Adams. She set up house with him at her home Sunnybank in Loughton in Essex in 1841. Sarah and her sister began literary pursuits, and encouraged by her husband, Sarah actually turned to acting, playing Lady Macbeth, among other successful roles. But she eventually returned to literature. She was a champion for equal treatment for women and the working class. She composed hymns for Finsbury Chapel. Near My God was first published in 1841, in Hymns and Anthems by W.J. Fox. Her writings, inspired by her Unitarian faith, was hampered by deafness as well as tuberculosis, and her health gradually declined. She died in 1848 at the age of 43, and was buried beside her sister and parents in the Foster Street Cemetery near Harlow. The father of American church music Lowell Mason wrote our tune. Born in Midfield, Mass. in 1792, he became the music director of the First Parish Unitarian Church at age 17. He then moved to Savannah, Georgia, where in 1812 he served as the organist choir master of the Independent Presbyterian Church while earning a living as a bank clerk. Under his initiative, the church created the first Sunday school for black children in America at the now historic First Bryan Baptist Church in Savannah. In 1827, he went to Boston, continued his banking career, was elected president of the Handel and Haydn Society, and was choir master and organist at Park Street Church. In 1833, he co-founded the Boston Academy of Music, writing their manual on vocal music he was also appointed music superintendent for the Boston school system and was credited with introducing music to the curriculum of the Boston public schools. His most well-known song, of course, is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. At age 59, Mason retired and moved to New York, where his sons had established a music business. Then he set off for Europe in 1852. 
His visits to the great Lutheran Church of St. Nicholas in Leipzig and Kreuzkirche in Dresden reinforced his enthusiasm for congregational hymns. <laughs> his return to New York, Mason accepted the position as music director at Fifth Avenue Presbyterian. 